All right, so this is not a new thesis. I, in fact, uh, mailed this to one of my lawyers who I was paying $700 an hour pre-inflation to, um, and it was completely superfluous. It was just like, I'm going to pay for you to be less stupid. And you're like, Joe, that seems crazy. Well, I pay for all these public schools that I don't need and will never use. You know, I pay for other people's kids to go to school. So um, <clears throat> it's pretty normal as a taxpayer. And it just took it a step beyond there. But you know what it is, is that uh, that nobody knows. They're, you know, the, the wave doesn't know you're supposed to be afraid of oh, Wes Watson or the prison guard or, you know. Wave doesn't give a shit. Same with the motorcycle. That's why the prison guard rides his motorcycle so poorly. And it was such a huge part of his identity. And he had a race bike leader class CBR when I moved in. And I ride so much better than him that he literally stopped riding it. And I'm not even competitive. And I go slow as shit. But, uh, you know, he's so used to just being tall and white. He's like, if I'm tall and white, doesn't the motorcycle know I'm the boss? No. Motorcycle doesn't care if you're tall or white. Neither does the ocean. Neither does rock climbing. These are all sports where Mother Nature is undefeated. And guys like Wes Watson and the prison guard, they can only be tough when they're the bully. They can never be tough when they don't have the advantage. So... You get what you get. You know, if Wes Watson was ever serious about surfing, he'd be living, like, beachfront, not hiding in Rancho. <laughs> so trashy. All right. One love, guys.